So how does the organ pipe work? The way that this works, the air comes up the boot here into this little chamber and we can take the screws off. You see how it's constructed in here. So the air comes out here and this piece in the front that I took off has a pocket scooped into it. So the air comes out and up and there's a very small gap here to create a sheet of air to come through. And then this is sharpened on the end here so that sheet of air uh, will initially come outside and then some of it will go inside. It gets split and as that air pressure goes in, it goes all the way to the other end of the pipe, hits the stopper and gets reflected back. And when, it, when the pressure wave comes back to the front, it pushes all of the air out. And then there's going to be more pressure outside than inside, so then there, that uh, lower pressure wave comes back in and su sucks that air sheet back into it. And so this air sheet wobbles back and forth very quickly depending on the length of this pipe. And that's why the pipe length uh, determines the frequency that the pipe speaks at. Sometimes you also see grooves notched in the mouth area here on the pipe, and that's to create a little extra turbulence to help the pipe speak faster. And of course, tuning a pipe like this is rather easy. The stopper moves in and out, and that adjusts the overall length so that you can get an accurate pitch on the whole pipe. There are, of course, different kinds of pipes the, than the wood ones. This one is made of metal. Uh, it's a tin lead sheet that's rolled and soldered, uh, so you don't want to eat it. But this one, of course, will make a sound as well. This one's actually stoppered, and you can change the pitch by moving the hat up or down. Additionally, there are reed pipes, such as this one. Uh, this is a, a reed just like a clarinet might look, or a saxophone. It has a weight on the end because it's a very low frequency one. And as the air comes in, the pressure forces this closed. But then with no airflow, it springs open again. And so the vibration is set up. This part here, which is connected to here, is the tuner that allows the pitch to be adjusted. Let's see what this sounds like. This one, I think, sounds a little bit like a cow. And if you adjust this, this, uh, this guy all the way down, so that's a reed pipe.